truly VLAN exclusive. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is go over to your, you know, options, your settings. You want to, like, pick your difficulty. Now I've heard that badge regression doesn't, isn't affected by game difficulty anymore. So you could probably put it on whatever you want. But if you're a 90 floor and below, I recommend putting on Hall of Fame just so you can get you know, the most out of getting your overall look faster. But if you're 95 uh, and up, just put it on pro so you can like, you know, get get the badges. Cause at a certain point you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't need all the fame. You probably just need the badges. Cause wouldn't it, isn't it like how well you perform? You're gonna, per I'm assuming you're gonna perform well on pro. So it wouldn't matter, you wouldn't need Hall of Fame. Unless you just like the somewhat challenge, you could do that. But, well, actually, if you're like, if you're like, if you're not even at 85 yet, just play on Pro. So if you're 86 to 94, play on Hall of Fame. And 95 plus, play on Pro, because again, I've heard badge progression doesn't matter from game difficulty anymore. I could be wrong, but from what I've seen myself in my career games, it, it seemingly doesn't matter. Now that I got that way, I'll move on to the next thing. Now for the one of the second things, another thing you could do is like, if you're the franchise player, and you'll know if you're the franchise player if you like go to stats my minutes, and if you could like move yourself around out of positions. If you can't do that, then you're not the franchise player yet. So if you can do that, then I suggest like, well, since my player he's a small forward slash power forward. He's a multi-positional defender. If I get enough likes and all that stuff, I'll drop that build. But yeah, so Julius Randle, he was a starting power forward, but I had to take him out because, you know, for my build, well, just overall, if you're trying to play defense, the best thing to do is get blocks. That'll give you the most defensive points. And, you know, power forwards hanging around the paint. I can't play center because I am but power forward is hanging around the paint, so that's the best way to get blocks and good contest. I will get a block every time, but a good contest, there's, there's good enough points. But if you're a guard or, you know, well, if you're a guard, you're gonna wanna do like body up contest and make them pick up the ball. So basically, if you're a guard, you're gonna go and do like full court, full court trap, like by yourself, basically. You could turn it on so you don't get the defensive breakdown or whatever. What you're gonna do, you wanna do a full court trap and like keep trying to like not let them get past the, the half court line. They probably will eventually. But just like keep trying not to let them get past the line. And if they do, just like try try your best to stay in front of them. You know, just just play good defense. Play like you would if you played in the neighborhood. And yeah, I'll get on to the next one. Also, another thing I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure is if you're like playing point guard want to make sure that nobody besides you like is playing and by what I mean by that is like my player he's a small four power four like I said earlier so he they want him at his natural positions but if you're playing point guard you want like want them not to pass up to half court or try your best for them not to be able to so you can get their body up one so that way you know he, he's shooting guard, he won't play point. He's power forward slash center, he won't play point. He's power forward slash center, he won't play point. And he's center, so he won't play point. Now, for really, he would've took my spot. So I gotta switch him out with somebody that doesn't play point, like him. Take his minutes, give it to him. So that way, if I get subbed out, I stay like point the whole game, cause you know, nobody else has point. And I'll get back on to the next thing. And one of the final things I'm going to show you guys before I like show you the my career footage would be like, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, so gotta go to options and yeah, it's the playbook. So what I would suggest is, well, I'm, I'm going to make a video on finishing badges and this, this play helps. So uh, this is kind of, this kind of ties in. So I want to press LT or whatever it is on PlayStation, the back left button. And you want to make everybody's like first priority three point. So this will help you get like 
rebounds and stuff. And I'll like feel close to myself, positioning myself for rebounds in the smartest way. Because if they, if the first thing they want to do is shoot a three point, then they're gonna like stay around the line a lot. And once they miss, because they're gonna be contested. Well, yeah, more contested the higher, you know. Oh, let me change this. They'll be more contested the higher up they are. And like, if it's Hall of Fame, then they're gonna most likely gonna miss because they're gonna get like a high contest. So you do that, you know, get the rebound and pass it back out. And rebounds also help with defense. And yeah, that's that's basically. It. I'm gonna get on to the uh, my career footage now. Almost forgot about this part, but for the defensive bad shadow, you're gonna want like, let's say you're a guard, you're gonna want like at least silver clamps, silver up up piss. Now I know most people will be like, why, why up up piss? That badge is trash, but they updated it to where it's kind of like clamps, but like for the side, I'll, I'll show footage on that for like, you know, the guard part of the video, but it's like, kind of like clamps before the side. And you probably want pickpocket too, and all that stuff. Just like, you want to like lock up the person that you're defending as best you can. I don't know about Charlie's defender, but you know, but yeah, you're really gonna like, want these badges, these two, cause like most guards, Let's do like a two-way or whatever, they're not going to have a lot of defensive badges, so we should prioritize these four. And I'll cut to the, the small forward and up part. Now, if you're a small forward or higher, I'm assuming at that point you can like have enough vertical to block where you're tall enough to block. But if you're like if you're like six six or six five below, just like do the do the like do the guard badge setup. So the first thing I would do is probably like throw throw on rebound chaser, get it about to go. You don't you don't really need box pads of bronze. Cause that the box box is so much stronger than Hall of Fame worm that there's no point even putting a worm on. So the first thing you want to do is like get your you know Try to get some rebounds. Do you want to transition over to like maybe Intimidator or Rim Protector? Probably like get Rim Protector up to Silver, then chase down. Get like Intimidator to Silver, then come back to Rim and max that up. Get chased down at least to gold. Yeah, I guess you get clamps and all that stuff, all ball, and all that stuff, but probably pickpocket too. Maybe, maybe even like these two badges or whatever. But in, even in the park, I don't use these two badges because I know a way to like stop centers. Like for basically, I know, I know a different way to stop centers. I don't need these badges. But you're gonna prioritize around like paint protecting. So you're really gonna want these badges. So if you can, you know, try to get like, like one, two, three, four, these badges like as high up as you can because remember blocks give you the most and i think stills give you the second most so maybe you want to like throw on a pickpocket tour or whatever get clamps higher get all about higher what's like another good badge you could use and yeah probably interceptor too because you know bots they throw dumb passes so you know you can be getting lane stills you can be getting chased down blocks and you know ring protecting rebounds because rebounds help get pickpocket so if you're like six 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 seven and up you should use the small forward and up bad setup but if you're not you should use like the guard bed setup and i'll uh, show some my career footage of the like like what, what you should do if you're a guard like right now all right so in this clip i think i'm trying to show you what off ball pass does so yeah, yeah as you can see I was on the side right there and I got the rebound, but I'll replay that real fast so you could get a better like depiction. So yeah, right here, I'm waiting for, you know, the play to be over and all that stuff. And then Tyler gets the ball. And as you can see when he comes up, I'm stuck on the side. Not for too long, but 
that's what Silver Off Balls does. It said clamps, but clamps was helping with it a little bit, but that was Silver Off Ball that keeps on this side. And it's just on silver, so I imagine what it could do on gold or even Hall of Fame. And later on in the clip, I got a chase down block too. So I got away from the pass to the point guard, and then I backed up a little bit. I don't know why, and then just pressure him from the start. But yeah, that's off ball pass working a little bit. And then I got the chase down block. So. I know I said something about like me being a small forward at first or something, but it's better off if you like play point guard if you're franchise. So that way you could like, you know, like trail the point guard and all that stuff and you get to chase down block. And now in this next clip, I think I tried to bait the point guard in the shooting, but I failed. But that's also something you could do to get a, a block. If I was like half a second faster, that wouldn't have been a block. So you should also try to, you know, bait people in the shooting so you can get a block. Let me see what I'm going to do here. I think we're just going to turn it over. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you just need defense badges, then you might as well just keep turning the ball over. Because it won't matter if you're trying to play defense. If you just want defense, just turn the ball over. Or just like try to get rebounds until the other team gets it. You can also throw alley oops if you need playmaking. That's a bonus. You just like throw alley oops on a fast break. But uh, this is what Clamps does. If if you didn't know, I'm standing in front of him. I wasn't in front of him for too long, but you see, I was standing in front of him. And here's just like you know a recap of what Clamps does. If you didn't know for some reason. Also, getting body up wins adds more defense points. So if you picked up the ball, that would have been more good. Even, even if you can't get the steal, clamps, like every time the player runs into you, you get a little bit of points because that's like technically body up wins and all that stuff. And all ball helps you trail, so. No, I'm pretty sure this is the part where I get the double offensive rebounds and I've heard that offensive rebounds give you more points than defensive, but when I checked, it just said rebounds for like, you know, the game stats. But I'll show you how to position yourself to get them. So what you want to do is like when the clock's about to run out, go around and get it, kick it back out. And I don't think, I, I don't know if I stood out of bounds or not to wait. So that way they don't pass it to you. Cause you know, you want to get rebounds cause you want defense. All I did, then I went back into the paint. So here's the recap. I was standing out of, I was standing out of bounds to position myself to get the rebound so I wouldn't get the three seconds. I boxed whoever it all was and then I got it. So just stand out of bounds and then wait so that you won't get three seconds. Also another thing, even though rebounds don't give as much as blocks or steals, if you just keep getting them, like if you get like five in a row, that's like a lot of points. So you just be like, you know, pass up points before you get back on the defense. All right, so in this clip, I'm gonna show you how to position yourself for a block. So, got away from you know, get back on defense. And I think it was a half quarter trap or something like that, and I stood and waited for somebody. I was basically paint watching, and I got the block. So, with being a small forward or however you wanna kinda of paint watch. And here's another recap of what I did. I'm pretty sure in this clip I got another chase down and also you know offense you could just probably like set screens or whatever and just get you know pass up points and like rebounds but I'm pretty sure screens give less which I got I got the ball ripped because you know no ball handling and I got the chase down I'll uh, replay it even though I got ripped on accident it was still beneficial because I got the chase down so again, just try to get turnovers. And if you don't want like cold spots, just double tap Y when you're bringing the ball up the court or whatever. So you don't have to get cold spots. But yeah, honestly guys, that's basically it for this. Um, also if you're a guard, I'm not saying like, like go for steals, but if you think there's opportunity to get the ball, you should definitely get it. Cause you know, steals give second most. That's my third time saying it. You couldn't hear it the first time. Yeah, go for steals if you can. Remember, try to get clamps and all ball, all that stuff. And if you're a small forward or taller, try to get boards and blocks. And you know, 
I was about to piss you up, you too, with like doing chase down and all that stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching my video if you made it this far, and I'll see you on the next one. Also, if you have any questions about like defensive badges or whatever, if the video wasn't so fun enough, just comment below. And yeah, again, I'll see you on the next one.